Ekena. Uh, please be the wife. Yes, sir. Assist your husband since he's a new convert um, in answering my questions. Okay. Ekena. Yes, sir. Are you ready to forsake the ways of the pagan and renounce your fetish titles? Father, I, I did that last night. Mm. I've renounced it. Good. Are you ready to accept Christ, Savior of the whole universe, as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, yes Father. Father. Good. Are you ready to abide in the vineyard of the Most High with diligent service unto God until the day the trumpet shall sound? Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Good. Obiagiri. Now that your husband is about to receive the sacrament of baptism, what new name would you like him to bear as a symbol of wearing a new garment and forsaking his old ungodly ways, preferably the new of a saint? But, Father, I cherish the way of um, Saint Joachim, the father of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the grandfather of Jesus Christ. Excellent. John, be his sponsor. Joachim. Yes, Father. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Joachim. Yes, Father. Like I told you last night, when in Christ, behold, old things have passed away, and all things have become new. Now you shall go by Joachim, and the new task shall be assigned unto you. Uh, what task, Father? You just give it to me. I am willing to do it in spirit and in flesh. Yes. yes. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Well, the work in the vineyard are enormous and tedious, but the laborers are few. Our cactus needs an assistant. So you've been choosing for that position. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Father Sisters, you mean my husband, Joaquin Eken Nandubeze, has been ordained a cat kiss. For sure. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy. Father, I'm grateful. Hey. Hello. Uh, Today is a great day. Hello, my young sir. Hello, toy. Ah, yeah. Oh, that's gone now. Yes. Hey! I come up Yeah! I come up Yeah! 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 When the powers vested in me as the Yono Wu, the traditional Prime Minister, and the sole Kingmaker of Akama Kingdom, I proclaim you, Iwe Chukudifu Onolibako Onyema, the new King of Akama Kingdom. Mm. Oh. Oh. Our detractors will never succeed. They will never. Yes. Anima, I want you. Ma! Are you afraid? At all. Fellow elders, I want you. Ma! Are we afraid? Ma! Are we afraid? No! No! Oh, so I'm going to 
Ganitos. The gods of Ojingan, I implore you, we beseech you to withdraw your thoughts. Please, even your mouth requires cleansing. Cleanse him. Yes. But accept him as the man to ascend the throne of Akamakena. Ojingena, accept Onyema as a son. And please forget the circumstances that led to the death of Ona. Accept this crown. Something is wrong somewhere. Yes. Alawanya Saba. Something is wrong somewhere. Alawanya Saba. Come down. Continue with your drinking. Fellow elders, continue with your merriment. Keep on eating and drinking. Let me go and come back. Whatever is wrong must be rectified. Yes. Boys, come. Come on. Let's go and come back. The blood of an innocent appointee is beginning to wage war against our blood. Are you talking? No. With a fat envelope and beef you ram, I greased your palm to appease the gods of our land. Ojingene to coronate Onyema as the new royal father of our town. But you treated me with treachery and scorn. Why, Yoboko? No one can deceive the gods of Ojingene deity. They bluntly refused the appeasement sacrifice. I tried everything humanly and spiritually possible to appease them the second time, but they warned me to stay clear or face their wrath. I don't want your supper. Oboko, you're a liar, a deceiver. You took money from me and you breached this contract. Who says so? I am saying so, Oboko. I am saying so. You think you're smart. I am smarter than you are. Oh no, you're accusing me falsely. The gods refuse Onyma, and I have no right to force them to go contrary to their will. 
You hear me? Let me tell you. As the owner of Wu and traditional prime minister of our town, I want to tell you that I have the right to even coronate kings. Ndinze, Ndiozo, etc., etc. So you have no other option than to go and persuade and man pressure on our gods to coronate Onyema. However they want to do it. You coronate human beings. I serve spirits. The gods are spirits and not mere mortals like us. Therefore, I take orders from the gods. Is that so? If so, I want to remind you that in the past, you made uncountable sacrifices to appease the gods of our land on controversial and sensitive matters that even shook our town to its foundation. So why didn't you persuade the gods to coronate Onyema? I tried, but it baffled me why they should turn down the sacrifice. By the way, no, I have a question for you. What question? Where is Honor? If you mention that name, Honor, again here, I break your head. Will you do your work of telling the gods to coronate Onyema or not? No one can dictate for the gods. Go ahead and do your worst if that will make you happy. Do you hear me? Boys, go and pick him. Pick him! Get him! Oh no! Tell these thugs not to enjoy me. You will regret it when the gods should intervene. Allah wa nya saba. Move him out! Move him! Move him! Move him! Move him! Leave me now! Smart dog! I said leave me! Move him! Leave me now! Leave me! Leave me! Onyema! 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 Get up and where you from? If this monkey fails to abide by my instruction, I will kill him here. Now, Boko, pick the crown and put on the head of the new king. But uh, no, you know, it is not my right to make kings. I've only been the chief priest of the deity. How do you expect me to encroach upon your traditional right? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you question the order of Ono right here in the mansion that will soon become the, 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 the palace, the new palace of our Kama kingdom? How dare you? Is anything the matter with you? Come on, do as he instructed you to do. Do it right away. Obey and leave. You connived with this con man who calls himself Ono and killed in cold blood the man the gods have chosen. To su succeed Igwa Nikwe, and now you want me to utter the verdict of the gods. No way. I say no way. Alawanya Saba. Alawanya Saba. Oboko, if you utter such a blasphemy here again, I will snuff the life out of you. You killed a blameless man, and the gods must avenge the death of the man they've chosen. Shut up before I kill you here! Shut up before I kill you here, you miserable papa! By the way, who lied to you that we killed on her? Who lied to you? Who? The eyes of the gods are everywhere. They see in light and in darkness. And besides, no evil can be hidden forever. Mm. Oyama, this monkey, this papa has beaten more than he can chew. Boys, take him away and end him up. End him up! Leave me! I said, leave me up! Leave me! Hey, hey, hey. Leave me now! Clean him up! Wait him! Onyema! Iwe Onyema must you be now called. The entire Akama will henceforth know you as the Ishine Bogi, the one of Akama Kingdom. And I, as owner, will make sure that you are so crowned. What has been written has been written. Good. No, I believe in you. I suggest that this crown be forgotten because it must have been cost by the late Igwe and Igwe. I will get you a new crown. Alamwanya Saba. Alamwanya Saba. 
just happen the way I dreamt it because if it does I'm afraid two of us will just die in a day. Allah mwanya sabah. Allah mwanya sabah. Come down and tell me how it happened. You see, whatever happens, I believe the solution must be found to avert whatever danger. Oh no. Uh, that was the most horrible dream I have ever had in my life. Two men, two of them will know who we are invading my kingdom in the midst of a multitude. Uncountable, fierce looking men and women taking instructions from the two younger ones. And the two came in vengeance of Onaz dead. They were teaching instructions how both of us should be killed by hunger. Allah Saba. But the gods forbid. Does that mean that a brother is likely to give birth to male children that might grow up to avenge the killing of their father by hook or by crook? How could they hijack my husband's plot of land and sell without my consent and even sharing parts of the money? <laughs> Knowing my condition. <laughs> Abada, mm, you don't have to sob head again to your bread. Whereas Father Sisters has promised to take care of these kids from the very day you give birth to them. Hmm? That's true. But one's right remains one's right. I know it deprived my husband of the throne. Despite the fact that my husband refused to accept Christ and get baptized. <laughs> Mischievously, my husband was shot dead on his farmland. <laughs> Which I suppose that same wicked old no who must have perpetrated the murder. Having evacuated us from our homes, <laughs> they still went on to sell my husband's plots of land without my consent. <laughs> Abada, stop crying. Wipe away your tears. Cast your trust in the Lord, from whom our trust comes from. Remember that it was written in the Bible that he is the Lord of the Lord. And another portion made me to understand that he is the mighty man in battle. He's always there to fight our battle. Yes. Hold on to us. Please. God. <laughs> you are the husbands of the widows. <laughs> Come before long to vindicate my cause. And don't forget that a contrite heart you despite not. <laughs> oh, Abada, I'm happy that you've come across such in the scripture. I'm very glad. Lord of Anna, God of Sarah, and God of Esther. You have never forsaken the cries of the widows. And in my own case, I know you remain a faithful God. 
<laughs> Father Lord, manifest your powers against my oppressors so that my joy will be full. <laughs> In your hands, uh, I commit my spirit. <laughs> Accept me into your kingdom. <laughs> what does such prayer mean? Huh? What is it? You sound as if you, 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 you are giving up before the day break. I mean, do I please I'm tired. Don't go to me. <laughs> My God, may she deliver like the women of the Hebrew God. Good morning, midwife. Good morning, midwife. How are the baby? They're all fine. Mm -hmm. How about Reverend Father? Actually, he sent me to you. Whose child is this? He's a child of circumstance. What do you mean by child of circumstance? Metro. It's a long story. Oh, my God. Father said he has to be sheltered and buried up here until he gets of age to enroll into seminary. Oh, Holy Mary, Mother of God.
media crying. Hi, sister. Who could be this wicked to kill a banana child? <coughs> eh? It's only God's intervention that you met one of them alive. Otherwise, the evil doers wanted to kill all of them. Oh, hey. up again. I've seen something. I cannot but I just die like that. <coughs> Sister, I don't think you know who stands is loose from my death. I don't think so. You can't accuse anybody. It's only God that will judge. Help! God, where are you? Where are you, my God? Don't carry yourself. Do that. God, the Almighty, knows everything. Get up and let go. Okay, sorry, get of history of Akama Kingdom. It is a day that will never be erased out 
of the heart of the founding engineers of uh, Romazzini Construction Company. As we recount the goodwill and the philanthropic gestures of her MV, engineer Valusi Zuni, since the establishment of uh, the civil engineering company that was set to better the lots of our community by uh, providing uh, social amenities, they have also awarded a lot of uh, scholarships to several people, especially the less privileged particularly to the orphans. Today we celebrate because of what they have done to this community. They have also given our widows enough money to start up good businesses. Therefore, I and the members of my cabinet I found it worthy to bestow this young man with a chieftaincy title of Hope to be in um, It is a day set aside to give honor to whom honor is due. Engineer Valusi, step forward. Oh, no, go ahead. Good. You will have my support. Kneel down. Engineer Valusi, Your Majesty. Today, I officially crown you Oputurubie of Akamala. Receive this honor on behalf of myself, Jono, and the cabinet members of my kingdom, the chieftaincy title of four to two BMP. Akama kwenu. Yeah. Akama kwenu. Yeah. Akama kwenu. Yeah. Akama kwezonu. Oh. oh God. As the saying goes, honor is given to whom honor is due. For the fact that the people of Akama community have found me worthy to be bestowed. This chieftaincy title of Oputa Ubie, I will add more power to my elbow as to regards to my philanthropic gestures to your sons and daughters. <laughs> to send my point home, I will award scholarships to every set of twins between the ages of 18 and 25. To any foreign university of their choice and to their mothers, both living and the dead ones, I will give them two million naira each. <laughs> to the orphans in the orphanage, I we open an account for each and every one of them with the sum of 500 naira to start with. And I, Oputa Obie, 
will personally redeem the pledges. I thank you all. my prestige. Must you embarrass me? No, simply because I've been loyal to you. Up to you. Why must you throw stones at me when you know you're living in a glass house? Who has ever done it to me and lived to have his peace of mind? What is the problem? Let us settle it amicably. Instead of you shouting at me. Look, in every service we render to this community, we have the division of but you offended me beyond pardon by encroaching on my right as the owner of this autonomous community. How? Good. 20 years ago, before leasing that site to Romazini Construction Company, which you represent, we agreed that there will be financial allocations on a monthly basis to the widows, to the aged, the less privileged. That's right. In that agreement, we said that I should be getting money from your company and giving to these people who need the money. Not you giving them the money directly. <laughs> no. What has that agreement got to do with us? I thought that was a different ball game altogether. You feel it? Let me tell you, whatever you are here today, whichever level you have climbed to, I made it possible. In fact, the recent chieftain statue you backed was made possible by my underground arithmetic. So whether you are sending twin so, triple so, or quintuple so to Australia or any far part of the world, the allocations for such projects should be given to me to dish out to them, not to you giving it to them directly. Let me tell you, you don't run faster than your shadow. If you try it, then all your investments in this our community will be lost. So you are threatening me? I am threatening you. Alamanya Saba. Don't ever dare me. Otherwise, you don't, I, 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 I am trapped. Alamanya Saba. Thank you, Museno. Well, 
my son. Ever since I came in, I've been keeping close eyes on this young man. He looks quite promising. And I'm beginning to see a brave man of war in him. Is he a seminary I'm posted here on a politic work? Oh, I forgot to introduce him to you. He's Chuka. A twin. The other died after birth. And uh, his father was shot dead while they were still in the womb. His mother stabbed to death at the spot of their birth. You mean? The cold hands of death deprived him of parental tutelage. It is terrible. So sad. Uh, the most appealing side of the whole saga was that one person killed his parents. The same person. Musaino, what is the name of this person? And I want to find out, did my parents in any way offend him? What happened? My dear, don't bother yourself. We'll discuss about that before you leave for Italy. To do what at Italy? Um, I had really wanted him to enroll into the junior seminary. At least to become a priest. After I displaced him from the orphanage. But some other thing cropped up along the line. Like? The Italian engineer who leased his father's hectares of land as a site for building their construction company offered him a scholarship overseas. So, I choose Italy for him. Any Italian university can serve him. So, how long will he be here? Well, uh, the captives went to the man who offered him scholarship to pick up documents, students, uh, visa, uh, tickets. I believe the ticket will tell you that. Good evening, Mr. He's here. Good evening. Good evening, Captain. You're welcome. Good job. Welcome. You stayed so long. Were you able to see the engineer? Meanwhile, uh, here, Colonel Tega, one of my parishioners at my first parish in Nsuka. Colonel Tega, here, Joaquin. Colonel, you're welcome. Nice to meet you, Katkist. Um, Mosaino. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, who was at it again? Oh no, who again? Hasn't he repented all these years? How can you there be any seed of repentance in such an evil man? Mosaino, who no who has hijacked the offer? And Chuka's trip to Italy has been cancelled. God Almighty. Cancelled? Cancelled? Cut kiss. Did, did you say cancelled? It's not possible. God has blessed me with this scholarship. And no one can change it. No one can stop it. Inhumanity. Wickedness in high places. Will they ever come to an end? Only God knows. Chuka, have faith. Hmm? We will still be able to get those documents by the grace of God. Okay. If you say so. But, Uncle Joaquin, this Omoween question, is it the man that killed my parents? Chuka, I can see the dinner is over, so let's go to bed. Good night, Good night, Good night, Let's go to bed.
blessed night. Forget about taking this boy to the seminary to become a priest. Let me enroll him into the Defense Academy. I want him to graduate as a brief soldier. Then he will have the boldness to stand and fight and serve as a voice of reason. Redemption must come to other orphans. Please, Mosaino, permit me to do this. Well, I accept it, if this is what you really want. No problem. I'll be here in the village cathedral praying for you all oh, so that you succeed in your studies. Hmm? I'll miss you all. Chuk, I will miss you too. Hmm? Miss you. I'll miss you, but it's okay. Um, Chuka. I'm oh, sorry. I'll be coming to Cardinal to visit you from time to time, okay? Yes, I'm sorry. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Yeah. So. Hmm? Oh, so, can I say my pleasure? Please. Thank you. I'm very happy. Hmm? God bless you. Please. I'm going with them. I'm coming. Let me make sure you enter the bed. I know how she's feeling. Curtis, let's go in now. Um, hello. How was the investigation? I hope it is simply a rumor. Who said it was a rumor? So, what actually happened? <sighs> the old man at the security post of the church cathedral mm -hmm. refused to give me the fact. But after I grew his palm, he opened up. Yeah, that's good. Very good you did that. And um, what did he say? He said Honor's son was taken to the northern part of the country last week by an army colonel after meeting the Masina. He reliably informed me that Honor's son will be registered as a student at the Nigeria Defense Academy Kaduna to train as a soldier. As a soldier. military officer. That means he will definitely come back to attack. The boy is too small to do that. Mm. No. I think that there is a great danger. There is great danger. I agree. Whatever happens, let's, let's hatch a plan to counter-attack. Good. 
as possible. That's right. That's right to know. So what do we do? I think we will have to send for Njoku. Njoku? Who is Njoku? Njoku is the greatest diviner across the Niger. He hails from uh, Orata in Imo State. You will have to go and fetch him before the next for market day. It's very important. Uh, Jumbo, bring my briefcase fast. It's only the tree that we hear that is going to be cut. And be quiet. Yes. Uh, No, this will be enough for your transportation. Go and tell Njoku that ah, Iguanima, he seen a book he didn't kiss in Akama Kingdom, needs his service. He should come immediately without delay. Okay. You may have to go with Jumbo. Okay. Good. Okay. In case there is any problem on the way. No one dares to go anywhere. Nobody. This is Chuka. He is my special candidate. And as such, should be given a special treat, care and attention. You will give him a special and sophisticated training. Train him out in the midst of other cadets. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Cadet Yes, sir. The car I gave to you is for your temporary use as far as you remain in this academy. Yes, sir. Whatever you need, don't hesitate to let me know. Okay, sir. I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. But remember, sir. say your prayers before bedtime. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the glorious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I thank, I thank you for a day like this. I thank you for my life. I thank you for the position that you've put me in, Lord Jesus, today. Father, I come before you as a servant and as your son to say, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon my life. Forgive me of all my iniquities, of all my sins. Cleanse me with the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. Mighty King of glory, I commit this night unto thy care. As I go to sleep, Lord Jesus, I pray for your divine protection against the plans of the enemy, against my life. I pray, O oh Lord, for your divine protection and guidance. Any way the enemy has planned against my life at this moment, let their plans be crumpled in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father Lord, you said that whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever we lose on the face of this earth is loose in heaven. Therefore, Lord Jesus, I stand on the authority of your word to send the fire of the Holy Ghost to burn all you evil dwarfs. All you evil planners in my village, around me, my neighbors, anywhere you are, any plan against my life, you have been crumpled this moment in the name of Jesus. Whether in the air or in the sea, in the land, inside the house, in the pits, I send the Father, the Holy Ghost, to bind the in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Ujjah 
<laughs> you little boy. Hey. Joker, I command you to appear inside this spot. Wherever you are now. Appear now and die. Appear right now. I receive the first time of my personal life. You are too tiny to damage each network. And it is faithful. What a real feminine man. A feminine man. I'm here now and I preach at last. I send the fire of the Holy Ghost to burn the man in the name of Jesus. Um, I, um, uh, sorry for stopping you the way I did. I, I just wanted to confirm something. Are you one of the newly recruited cadets? Yes, I am, and you? Yes, I, I am one. Uh, you know, I, uh, I always see you at the parade ground, the general parade ground, you know, and I keep wondering, why would a beautiful girl like you be suffering under the hot sun. Huh? This is what I enjoy doing. Wow, I like that determination, soldier. <laughs> so, uh, where are you heading to? To buy things I need for the weekend. Okay, so can I have the honor of dropping you off? Yeah, uh, sure, why not? Um, how come you just enrolled and you were offered a car? Well, uh, my uncle is a commandant here, and uh, it's not really uh, an official car, it's just one of his personal cars. Now he gets godfathers, now I'm better. Oh, why do you say so? Huh? I don't mind.
Look, face the point. There is no better way to show them that you love them than visiting them. Hmm? You will. Let's get out of here. It's late already. Okay, you know you. All right. Shorty, Victoria, we need to get out of here. <laughs> My shorty, indeed. Oh, yes. Uh, here we are. This is my place. This is where I stay. Make yourself comfortable. Sit down. My space. Okay. Uh, you're welcome. So, um, what do I have for you? We have soft. We have brandy. We have... Um, don't worry. Don't bother yourself. I'm okay. So, oh, come on, Victoria. How can a beautiful girl like you be rejecting my offer? Huh? The first time you're stepping into my house. Chuk, I'm fine. I don't want to take anything. And by the way, why do you always refer to me as a beautiful girl? Well, uh, because I love appreciating God's creation. <laughs> you're very beautiful. I can't stop saying it. Thank you. So, um, tell me. How are you seeing the academy? Um, it's fun, but difficult too. But I won't serve my fatherland. Hmm, that's, that's smart. <laughs> you know, we have things in common. Uh -huh. I mean, there is nothing as sweet as serving your country, protecting your country. This country belongs to us. <laughs> Well, uh, I love your determination. Uh -huh. um, the last time you were telling me something about your parents. Uh, yes, my parents. Uh, well, uh, I think we still have enough time to get information about ourselves. Hmm? Uh -huh. If you say so. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Wow, I, I think I have to be on my way now. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Uh -huh. No, we're just coming in. I. Okay. Who eats? You. Oh. Yes, you have to now. I have to go. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll see you off. No, no, no. Relax. I'll walk down. Are you sure? Yeah. No, no, no. I'll, I'll see you. No, no, no. Don't bother. I'll be okay. Bye. Okay, you, Victoria. Thanks for coming. Um, I'll see you at the party tomorrow morning. Yeah! Woo! Woo! So wild! I wish to solicit for some few days out of school. I want to go down to the village. And uh, I wish to also visit the orphanage. Some people are left back there. I miss them so dearly. Why? Why do you wish to travel all the way from Kaduna down to the east just to visit the orphanage? Once we are an orphan, but now we are not. Sir, you are right. But you know, there is nothing as good as remembering old friends. I need to visit them. I need to give them my moral support. At least, like you said, I've seen the light. Uh, I need to make them see the light through me by visiting them. Sir. Right. Your earnest request is granted. Yes, sir. But not until vacation time, which you know is coming up in two months' time. Sir, please, this is really a big burden in my heart. I've been so restless. I just want to quickly rush down to the village and come back to school. Please. 
So when do you intend leaving? I'm sorry. In two days' time. Right. Meet me later in the day. Let me give you some money to pick things you care for them. Ah, I'm so grateful. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, sir, one more thing. All right, go ahead. Uh, I wish to... I wish to have the company of some cadets on this journey, at least for security purpose. Do you know? Why do you say so? We're just enrolling as a cadet. We're given a separate task from the others. And not only that, we're given a car and a sergeant to help you out. And the commandant, who is not anybody's good friend, signed some days off for you and added it with enough cash. Huh. <laughs> well, God knows everything. Um, why did you say you'd be coming back? In a couple of days. Uh, uh, you know what? What? I love you. It's high time I let you know. I love you so much. I love you too. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. So tell me, what will I get for you from the village? Um. I want all the goodies from your village. Okay. And I'll get all the goodies from my village for you. Ooh. Don't worry, I'll be back soon, okay? I was scared I seen men on army uniform. I never knew I was running for my own child. No, 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 Auntie, you don't have to run. It's me, Chuka. <laughs> Just that I look different now. <laughs> Auntie. Chuka. Eh? You're looking brave, promising and intimidating on this uniform. <laughs> eh? Auntie, don't worry. Okay? I hope that uh, we are safe. You're safe. Everybody's safe. Except the evil ones. Chuka. How was your journey and how is Konetega faring? Well, uh, my journey was fine. We thank the Almighty God. And Konetega is doing good. He sends his regard. Really? Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how is everybody? How is uh, uh, the Mosaino, Katkizekena? How is everybody? Are they around? They went for our station, though. I know they must be coming back by now. Yeah. In that case, I, I have to run along. Um, I will see them later. Where are you going to? Uh, Auntie, I want to get to the orphanage. First and foremost. And then from there, I will go visiting some other family members, my old friends. No, now nah, you have to wait until Montana comes back and see you now. Let him come and see you. Auntie, are you discouraging me? Eh? No, I'm not discouraging you. It's just that we have a lot of evil men in this village. I don't want them to kill you. They might put poison on the air, asserting you. You get mad or you'll die. Auntie, don't bother yourself, okay? He that is in me is greater than he that is in them. Okay? Look, I don't care about your fetish bars. Right now, all I want from you is their names and their pictures. I'll take care of them. Chuka, I'm scared though. I'm scared. Oh, you don't have to be. You don't have Let to be. Think. You want to give me the pictures now? Fine. Let's go together. <laughs> uh, I'm coming back. I want to get something from her. These pictures, how familiar are the faces to you? Hmm. Yes, I recognize them. They are those behind the game of the parents. 
this is a uh, Eze Onyema. He hijacked the throne which was meant for your father. Honor. And here is Ono, who's supposed to crown your father. He deceived him to kill him in order to attend the throne. Auntie Begili, so you were right. I told you. This is what I told you. Um, Metron, one more thing. The land where Romazini Company was built, what do you know about it? These same persons leased the hectares of land to the white men for 35 good years, I think. And from what you know, who is the actual owner of the land? Hmm? Has midwife not told you? Your father, of course. Hey. Let me have the pictures. Hey. Jonah, where are you going, sir? Jonah! From me, they took everything I have and everything I own. They almost took my life from me. So I must fight. So I must fight. It's my fight. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. 